and and you will also specify what are the types of testing that you are doing. On the other hand, you will say what is not in scope for the release. You will say what are the features that you will not be testing and also specify the types of testing you will not be performing. That's it. That, that concludes a one page test plan. Remember, a simple and easily updatable test plan is much, much more efficient and useful than a 100-page test plan that does not add value to the project. Any newbie tester who has never come up with a test plan can also use this technique and come up with a test plan of his own. All you have to do is say what's in scope and what's not in scope. If you want to create a little bit more detailed test plan than this, then you can use the 5Ws technique along with the mind map. You have to answer the five W's, what, when, why, who, and where. One thing that I love absolutely about mind maps is, once you, are, once you execute all your tests, right, you need not have to spend any additional time to come up with a test report. The final version of your mind map itself acts as a test report. You can share this image with your stakeholders. It, it, it sort of acts as a dashboard to the stakeholders. They can clearly see the entire story of testing in one image.